Hey guys, in this tutorial we're going to make this cute little frog cake. To start you'll need two 6 inch rounds and a 5 inch round. With a cake leveller just trim the tops off and also cut them in half. Give each cake a little drizzle of sugar syrup, this keeps the cake soft whilst you're working on it. Leave the syrup to soak in for a while. Using a bit of ganache, stick your 6 inch cake off centre onto an 11 inch cake drum. Then add your filling and stack up the rest of the 6 inch tiers. Then add your 5 inch cake to the top. Now we want to start carving this into a rough egg shape. Just trim bits off at a time until you're happy with it. Then around the bottom of the cake you want to trim in at an angle to round it underneath. Once you've got your shape how you want it, give it a coat of ganache to seal the cake in. If you have an acetate smoother, you can easily bend this into a curve to help with smoothing a circular shape or a sphere. Add a second layer of ganache to help hold the cake in shape. Once the ganache is set, we can dampen it with a spray bottle and a pastry brush. Cover your egg with the green sugar paste. I mixed Renshaw's Lime Green with Renshaw's Lincoln Green to create this colour. Then do your best to smooth out all the pleats. Cut off some of the excess weight but don't cut too close to the base just yet as we need enough to tuck underneath. With your little finger or a Dresden tool, gently push the sugar paste under the egg shape. Trim away more excess. You can use a scraper to further push paste underneath to neaten it up. Using a wet paintbrush, mark out a large semicircle where you want the belly to go. Roll out some lime green sugar paste and smooth this over the water. It doesn't matter what shape it is as we're going to trim it off. Carefully mark out an arch shape with the scalpel to create the belly patch and pull away the excess. With your palm or the side of your hand, gently rub the cut edge of the paste. This softens the harsh cut line and makes it more rounded. Draw in a cute smile with the Dresden tool. Dampen the board with water ready for covering. We're using a baby blue colour. Check out the iCard above for a more in-depth tutorial on this. Smooth out any bumps with the smedger and trim the overhang from the board. Using a fairly chunky disc of green, cut out an arch shape. And then two smaller arches to create the little pointed webbed feet. Define and soften the edges with your fingers. Cut the back of the foot straight and position it at the base of the body. Repeat the process for the other foot. Roll out balls for each of the pointed toes. They are a bit bigger than peas. For the front legs, roll a ball of green and only flatten half of it with the rolling pin. Cut out those arches again, creating smaller feet. Then at the base of the foot, 
Pinch the paste together and start to ease it out into a long sausage shape. Once you've created the leg, cut it to size at an angle. Then using a bit of water, stick it into position. Add little balls to these two. If you want, with a Dresden tool, mark in simple lines between the toes. For the eyes, I've got two small polystyrene balls. Again, I like to use these for the weightlessness, as solid sugar paste can get quite heavy. I've also got two balls of white sugar paste in a slightly larger size. You want to push the ball inside the sugar paste and gently work it up around the sides evenly pinching at the top once fully covered. Then roll in your hands to create a smooth ball. Insert a cocktail stick down into the ball and pop it into a dummy to set. Don't forget your second eyeball. Once they've firmed up a bit, you can add them to the frog. As you can see, just the placement of the eyes can change its look. Push the cocktail sticks into the cake and secure it with a little water. For the eyelids, cut a chunky circle from green and cut across the bottom for a flat edge. Dampen with water and place it behind the eye, moulding it around the ball. Roll two small balls in black paste for the pupils. And small spike shapes for eyelashes, two for each eye, curling them up and out with your finger. Even smaller balls of white in the corners of the pupil create catch lights. Roll a ball of baby pink and flatten them to create little oval cheeks, just under the eyes. For a bow, flatten a piece of pink sugar paste, teasing it into a triangle shape. With the Dresden tool, run it down one side of the triangle, creating the illusion of the top of the bow. Then lay it down and score in some pleat lines from the point. Repeat the process for the other side of the bow. You can see it taking shape when you hold them together. Place the bow on the head. I can feel the lower part of the bow is quite heavy and as it's travelling I'm going to pop a cocktail stick in to make sure it doesn't topple off. As always, list any inedible parts on the box if handing it over to a client or recipient. For the centre of the bow, roll out a tapered sausage and wrap it over the join, creating pleat lines with the Dresden tool. Add extra detail with little froggy spots, dark green on the belly and lime green on the body. Stick the age on the bow and the name on the board. I use tappets. I've popped a how-to video for those in the iCard. For the little ladybirds, which may well be Froggy's dinner, roll out two red balls and two black balls. Cut these in half and then stick the alternate colours together with water. drawing a line down the back with the Dresden tool. Little spotless ladybird. Stick them into position around the cake and then roll tiny balls of black for the spots.
As a finishing touch you can add little scuttle lines with black metallic paint and a fine paintbrush. These are just small lines to make a trail. And that's it, we're done. Hope you like this tutorial. You could turn it into all sorts of animals just by changing the colours and features. Thanks for watching, bye guys.